name is Sonia Mudaro and I'm a freshman here at BBU and I won't be able to join you today because I'm, I went for a trip with the SDP family so I'll be telling you my story um, in this video. So first of all I want to thank you for being able to give us a voice as the Randis. We really appreciate it. Every time we get a chance to tell, to tell our survival stories, we make sure we do it because it's a way to promote the never again message Randa is trying to make. Um, well, my I was four years old when the suicide happened and I was really young, so I don't really remember everything that happened, but my, my parents tried to make me remember and tried to make me uh, understand why I'm still alive. Um, altogether, I lost over 50 relatives. I lost aunts, cousins, uncles, both my grandparents on both sides. So it was it was quite a tragedy for my family. But my family, uh, my siblings and I, we still have our parents. We're very lucky because there's so many other kids who were not able to have their parents survive with them. So I thank God for being able to have my parents today. And pretty much the genocide, I'm sure um, the rest of the students who are able to be with you today will tell you more about the history and it was pretty it was uh, it was two tribes the Hutus were killing the Tutsis not because of anything but because of the way God created them and during that time in the course of 100 days one million Tutsis were killed as well as moderate Hutus and at that time I was I was four as I said before and when you're four years old, you need food and proteins to be able to survive, but I wasn't able to get that in the war. So I got a malnutrition disease, and it was really hard for me to survive. And I, in the, in the, at the same time, I got separated with my parents because my parents were on the blacklist. They had to be killed. So they left us in, a, in an orphanage near our house, and we said our goodbyes like we got them. We would never see them again. Um, during the course of a few months, my siblings tried to comfort me through my illness and tried to make me feel like I can do it, I can fight this disease. And it was a miracle because the genocide ended two weeks before, like I had two weeks to be when the genocide ended. So it's a miracle that I'm able to share my story today. But I also don't want to only tell you the bad side of Rwanda or the negative the negativities. So I want to tell, assure you that today, Randa, we are among the, um, our, we're developing really fast. We're the fastest growing country in Africa today. And uh, we're able to share our story, try to make ourselves better, and try to learn from our past so that this can never happen again. So I encourage you to come visit Rwanda if you're able to. Um, you'll see the changes. Um, it's, it's, it's a whole different country. You cannot even know that it's the same country. So, thank you so much again. And I wish I could have made it here with you. But I'm sure the rest of the students will also add 